Hello, and welcome to this open topography tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use MATLAB to read and display raster topography data. So let's go over to MATLAB. So here we are in MATLAB, and for this tutorial, you want to download the read underscore visualize underscore uh, raster MATLAB script, and this is available from Open Topography's GitHub page. Before you dive in, there's a few pieces that you need to download. The first is this Hillshade code, and this is available at this link, link from MATLAB's file exchange. And second is gradient code, and that is available from uh, MATLAB file exchange using the second link. And to generate topography data to use for this tutorial, you have three options. First, you can download this TIFF here. And this is probably the easiest option as with this link, you can download the file, which is already named correctly, Utah underscore Grabbins .tiff for this tutorial can also process a different data set on open topography. For example, you can follow this, this link, which will take you to the same data set that I'm using for this tutorial. And third, you can also use a different GeoRaster file that you happen to have on your computer. So to start, I like to clear and close, uh, clear the old variables and close any windows. We'll also clear our uh, command window here. So we start out fresh. Then this line here adds the path for this gradient eight directory. And this gradient eight contains the code for um, the gradient tool. When you download that, you'll um, download a zipped folder, which you'll need to unzip. And um, in this case, then link it to MATLAB. The file that we're using for today's tutorial is utah underscore grabbins.tiff. If you happen to have a different file, you will want to change this line to rename to your file. This next line here is using the command read geo raster, and this will read in the geotiff utah underscore grabbins. We can see what is in this uh, file. So who's topo? So topo is now a variable with which is a matrix with this dimension, and it has a class double. The double class is very important for the subsequent calculations. R is metadata that is critical for doing the georeferencing of that topography data set. And in particular, we can see here X world limits, and these are the X bounds in the coordinate system of the data set. And similarly here, these are the Y bounds of the data set. You can see here, this is the raster size, and this happens to have the same dimensions as this topo data set, which makes sense, but you know, it's good to check and be sure that you understand how these data sets work. And then uh, finally, this X extent in world X and cell extent in world Y, these are the resolution of the data set in the units of the data set. So in this case, the data set is in meters. So our resolution is one meter. And then the next two lines, I've taken information in this R structure to create X and Y vectors of the coordinate systems. And so let's just look at this and for a few minutes. So this X has a uh, structure for, as a format of a MATLAB structure. So to extract parts of it, we can do R dot and then any of these values. So if we do R dot X world limits, then we get these two outputs and these are the bounds in the X direction of the data set. Let's just get the first one. You can add in a, a parentheses and then a one. 
Now to make this vector, we essentially go from the Western portion of the data set to the Eastern portion with that step size of the data set resolution. So let's run those two lines. So let's see the dimension of the topo as well as these X and Y vectors. So in this case, we see that topo is again, this um, matrix that we saw before. And we see that X and Y have the dimensions of the topo data set. This is good, but I always do recommend checking just to confirm that you have um, the, you've created the X and Y coordinates correctly. So we'll now look at several ways to display the topography data. First, we're going to make a hill shade. And the hill shade will then be named with the variable H. So let's look at the information for H and Topo. As we can see here, both H and Topo have the same dimensions, and this is good. But again, it's always worthwhile to check. We can now plot the topographic hill shade. So that's shown here. Um, just to emphasize a few points here, I converted the X and Y coordinates from meters to kilometers. So often makes the plot more visually appealing. I've applied the color map bone, and then I've added X and Y labels, and finally set the font size to be 14. And this is a little bit bigger than the, defa the default for MATLAB. So here's the resulting topographic hillshade. And then these um, next tools, next part is going to use the tool gradient eight. So let's look at that first. So we can say help gradient eight. So gradient eight will tell us the gradient itself, but it will also tell us the direction of the steepest descent. And the direction is shown here. And so the output will have each pixel will be a value of one to eight. And the value corresponds to the direction of the steepest descent. So our pixel here is C. And if the value has one, the steepest descent is to the north. If the value has a five, the steepest descent is to the south. And just note that different algorithms use different conventions. So it's always important to check the convention of the algorithm that you're using. So let's visualize these two plots. to run this line first. And then we'll visualize first to the gradient. And that's shown here. So you can see in yellow, the areas with higher uh, gradient or slope. And then here, we'll look at the aspect. And so we see here that most of the directions of the slope are either this blue color, and that's, um, so the blue color here is about a value of three or four. So that corresponds to a slope to the east or the southeast. And that makes sense with this topography. And then the yellow is a high number. So that's a steepest descent slope to the north. And again, that makes sense with the data set. So this concludes Open Topography's tutorial on how to read topography raster data into MATLAB. Thank you.